What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Yeah. Usually we deal with stuff in America, right? But stop the show. We gonna take Negro Airlines all the way to Kampala, Uganda, right? And you know I'm going international because we not covering no USA news today. We covering something that's real crazy coming out of Africa. And I want you to, I want to actually introduce you to one of the most famous artists in East Africa, a brother by the name of John Black. Y'all see him, right? He, he got them Teddy Riley glasses on. Actually, this could be Teddy Riley's son. Put a picture next to him in Teddy Riley, like from the 80s. You know what I'm saying? It's like a straight rip from Teddy Riley style, right? And this brother's name is John Casada, right? I don't know how you said, but his stage name is John Black. His name is really ringing all through, you know what I'm saying, Uganda. From what I've been told, like, he can get a $1,000 a show whenever he want out here. Now, that don't seem like a lot of money in America, but a $1,000 a show, and you can do two or three in a day, the boy is getting K, right? The girls love him, all the people love him, right? And um, I texted him out on Instagram like about two weeks ago because I kind of heard of him from another dude by the name of Ryonga, who's a Ugandan artist that I hooked up with. Shout out to him. And that dude was telling me about John Black and how his name was ringing out here, right? So I did a little uh, research on the brother and he is ringing out here on the continent. But it seems like too many ladies love him, right? Because it's okay if ladies love you. It's just not okay if your manager's wife loves you, right? Wow. So, story time music. So what they say happened was your boy John Black was a, uh, you know, supposed to be on quarantine, right? But um, seems like he was quarantining with his manager's wife. <laughs> Uh, which is either Mr. Kalobe Kenneth or Mr. Norman Kitty and Dima give me the booty clapping music. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was doing, right? Now, stop the show. It doesn't seem to be the smartest thing in the world to be sleeping with your manager, right? But it definitely don't seem to be the smartest thing in the world when your manager has, well, let's, let's do this. Let's play a game of Negro Air, shall we? Does John Black's manager have access to A, his Instagram, B, his YouTube, C, his Twitter, D, his Facebook, R, E, all of the above? Jeopardy music! And the answer would be E, all of the above. Because what happened is my man, John Black, he didn't even know, or maybe he did know. Well, he definitely knew when he was, you know, hitting the manager from his manager's wife from the back, but that the manager had all access to all of his social media profiles. Now, supposedly while he was, one second, Dima, give me the booty clapping sound. <laughs> the manager walked in on, you know, John Black just hitting him from the back in, Give me the oh my God sound effect. Oh my God. That's what happened, right? He was like, oh my God. Again, another oh my God. Oh my God. Like that, right? So, and they was fighting. Give me some punching sounds and stuff. <laughs> oh. Right, they was getting on you know, like boxing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, nigga, why you with my wife or whatever? And then after they got to fighting, sad music. The manager was like, man, you gonna sleep with my wife, man? You gonna be hitting her from the back? Is that how you gonna play me, nigga? Is that what you gonna do to me, nigga? Is that how you gonna do me, John Black? <laughs> Man. I'm gonna take your YouTube. I'm taking your Instagram. I'm taking your Facebook. I'm taking your Twitter. And I'm taking your distro kid, nigga. You about to disappear. And that's exactly what happened. Because if you go to Instagram and you look at John Black, you will get crickets. He's going, 
You might see fake John Black pages, but you won't see his pages. You go to Facebook and look for John Black, it is crickets. Nobody's there. You go to Twitter and look for John Black, it's like crickets. Basically, the manager made this nigga disappear like he wasn't even alive. Now, think about this, right? In quarantine, you know, you ain't got no shows. Nobody can contact you if they want to, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no shows. Um, your hoes can't get in contact with you that, you know what I'm saying, you would have on IG. I mean, you just don't have anything right now. And you pretty much, your social media imprint is gone off the internet. So my man, John Black though, right? He, he ain't going out like that, right? He actually gonna come back like, like, like the Rocky. You know, maybe we should have like, is there some like Rocky music we wanna play right now? Nah, I don't wanna get a copyright. Well, let's see what happens. Let's play the Rocky music, right? Yeah, we gonna make a comeback, right? Like, you hear, right? It's the comeback music. So my man, John Black was like, dating music or Rocky music? Hey man, we gonna give you back my shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I need, I know I screwed your wife and that was wrong, but I need all my stuff, man. So here go this letter. Story time music. To Mr. Kolobe Kenneth, Mr. Norman Kitty. Dear Messrs, Revocation of social media account holding rights. Whereas it's within your knowledge that we have had a fruitful friendship sh friendship from the onset of my career as an artist to date, knowingly that you have at the same time been having control and access to my social media accounts, namely. Stop the show. You already know when folks start, you know, start reading, you know, writing in good English and talking white. This is some real shit going on, right? He goes, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and DistroKid. This letter serves as a dissolution of the access you have been having to the accounts or any other accounts incidental to my dealings as an artist. Stop the show. Now, it must have been a lawyer that wrote this up, boy, because uh, I don't think he talked like this. But I therefore implore you to refrain from any access from this date as well as cease any dealings in regards to the same. Hand over my login within two days from the date of the receipt of this letter, nigga! Sincerely, thank you, John Black. Now, let me kind of go back to this, right? Shout out to John Black, bro. I don't know if, if you was really, you know, hitting a wife like that, like they say you was player, but I'm just want to know, if you were, that is stupid, all right? Like that, I mean, number one, it's dumb to give anybody access to your own stuff because you're the one that has, you know, Google your platform, but that's dumb. Out of all the women you can have access to in Uganda, here you are with his wife. Stupid! Now, what's even more dumber is that the manager is fighting you over the broad. Now, you know, again, I'm not trying to hate on nobody, right? But bro, looks like if that was your wife, and I don't know, and if she slept with the guy, and again, I don't know, looks like she don't wanna be with you. And while it hurts that, you know, he took your wife, hey man, charge to the game, you know what? Story time music! Give me the fireplace too in the background. It was 1997, right? I was going to homecoming with a chick named Nakisha. She had some pretty brick breasts at that time, right? And um, I took her there to homecoming. I have got my nice little haircut. I had a Steve Harvey shape up. You know, this is like 20 something years ago, right? And then um, I, I, I took her and I was like waiting for her. I took her outside and when I was coming back, um, I found her kissing another guy, right? And sad music, I was so hurt. I didn't know what to do. This this biatch was out there kissing on somebody else. And I just was devastated. I was hurt. I was all messed up. I was bedazzled. I was bedoozled. I was shook. But then I found out that some of these holes are for everybody, even my girl. And brother, you might have just found out that these hoes might be for everybody. Could be married to her. I don't know. Don't get mad and shoot me. But, you know, if that's what happened, don't be mad at him. Be mad at her. You know, if anything, like a lot of black men, we get in involved and mad at one another over, the, over these broads, and she goes free. And the thing about it is, I guarantee you the dude is still gonna be married to her if that's the truth as to what happened. But that's word on the street. That's what happened. 
So I will say to John Black, keep your head up. Hopefully you get all your stuff back. I know you're stressed out because you are literally gone off the internet right now. But I hope you come back, player. And uh, to the manager, man, um, you know, keep your head up, man. This ain't the way to deal with it. I mean, I know you mad. I know you upset. But, you know, taking people's social media accounts, um, that's a great way to never get another artist in Uganda again. You'll probably be blackballed and nobody will want to deal with you, even though it probably wasn't, you know what I'm saying, your fault and you just reacting to it. But, man, you got to do better than that. But, guys, what do you think about this, right? This is the East Africa edition. You know what I'm saying? Other celebrity junk. And I might cover some things like this if you guys like it. But what do you think, man? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe, hit the bell, go to the first comment pinned to the top. Check me out there. All my information is there. My Black Men are Perfect t-shirts. You know how we rocking it. All good. Check out all my stuff, man. Patreon. Um, everything. I really appreciate you, brothers. And always remember, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. We out.